What's going on everybody? It's Brian for jailbreakzone.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to enable the multitasking gestures on your jailbroken iPhone 4, iPad, or iPod Touch. Now you need to be running at least iOS 4.3. Uh, there was the iOS 4.3.1 untethered jailbreak, but if you happen to be on a tethered 4.3 jailbreak or something else, then you just have to be on iOS 4.3 and jailbroken. So a lot of people over the past couple of days have been asking me how to actually enable this. So first I'm actually going to demo it to you guys so you know what I'm talking about. So let's say you're in an application and you want to go ahead and close it. You could just use your, you could just use four fingers and pinch and it will close the app. You could also use five fingers if you'd like, but it just doesn't seem as, um, it just doesn't seem as natural on a smaller screen like this. On an iPad, four or five fingers would work great. But on an iPhone or an iPod Touch, four fingers just seems a little bit more practical. But, you know, the gestures are really great on the iPhone 4. I've been using the gestures way more than the home button. I haven't even used it that much. Um, you could also use four fingers to, four or five fingers to switch in between your backgrounded applications. Then you could also use four or five fingers to bring up your multitasking dock. Now, really quickly, I'm just going to show you this on an iPad. So here is an unjailbroken iPad 2. Now I was able to natively enable this without doing any tweaks, thanks to Xcode. So, you know, same thing here. You just open up an app, four fingers to close it, four fingers to go up to your multitasking dock, and you could also switch between your applications. So, to actually do this, all you have to do is install a jailbroken application called iFile. Uh, if you don't already have iFile, I highly recommend getting it. It's a must-have for anybody who's jailbreaking. Once you have it installed, you need to go to VAR, Mobile, Library, and then Preferences. And then you need to find a file called com.apple.springboard.plist. And there it is. And then once you tap on it, go ahead and open it up in the property list viewer and then tap on the plus in the bottom right now for the under the add item screen for the name of it go ahead and call it SB the capital SB use system gestures once you have that typed in go ahead and change the type to a boolean oops I just went to cancel on accident and what's funny is, I think I was the first one to actually figure this out because right when I was able to jailbreak the iOS 4.3 beta on my iPad 1, I was finding out, I was just trying to figure out how to actually enable it without having to use Xcode or anything like that. And then I found out that if you add this to your uh, property list, it actually enables it. So don't be fooled when people tell you that they found it out first. I'm pretty sure I did it first because I have the original blog posting on it and I have proof of that. So, SBU system gestures, change it to a boolean, go to create, then you should be able to scroll down and see it right here, and then just slide over the switch to on, and then go ahead and go to done, and then it saves your file, and then you can go ahead and exit out of iFile if you'd like, and then to actually make sure that they're working, all you have to do is either restart your phone, or if you have SB settings, you could just go ahead and do a quick respring and once you come back the system gestures should automatically be enabled and you should be able to do whatever you'd like with them so if you have any questions you can leave them down below in the comments area but that was just a quick video on how to enable the multitasking gestures on the jailbroken iPhone iPad or iPod touch so thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll talk